everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So we have jumped systems. Let's have a look at the map real quick here. And we moved, I was going to go here um, to Vinton. It was an arid, arid world. It was only 13 days away, but I decided to go here because it's a two skull planet instead of a one and a half. Terran world, which means we'll have a variety of environments. Um, the fact that it's two skull gives us a better chance to uh, move into our skull range with the amount of mechs that we have. Um, so we'll be able to take some more complex missions. I think that's a good idea. Uh, so that's what we did. Let's have a look at the mech bay real quick. So I did make some changes here. So the um, the Hades, the Centurion, and the Hollander all remain the same. It was really these three mechs that we changed. So the uh, Hellspawn, the only thing we did with this guy is we upgraded his um, the uh, stuff in his head here. So we went from the... Um, Artemis 3 down to the Artemis 2 because we needed a 3 elsewhere. But this still gives us plus 1 accuracy with missile missile weapons, which is fine. Rangefinder stayed on, but we added the uh, sensor missiles on this guy. We pulled off the uh, sensor tracker off this guy. So we get increased missile range, which means he'll be able to fire at targets a little farther away with the streaks, which is good. A little bit extra accuracy with them too, so that's going to help out. Um, but other than that, this, this mech remained the same. And then let's have a look at the Apollo. The Apollo changed significantly. So originally, um, with this guy, now we um, originally we well, we did have the stealth X and everything on here. I didn't change any of the internals here. But we had uh, a pair of regular LRMs, the LRM Streak, um, and an ER Medium clan. So now we've got three ER Mediums. The tag Barrage remained on. A pair of MRM 10s with uh, two tons of ammo. So this is 20 turns of continuous fire. Now this is the accuracy ammo. Um, which gives us a bonus accuracy with the medium range missiles, which is great. Uh, and then we have the Artemis 3 in this mech, because this is a direct fire mech. I wanted to give it a little bit more um, ability to hit. We have sensors tracker in this guy and a slick suite as well. Uh, we left the LRM uh, 15 streak in here. Now this has only got eight turns of ammo, so but it's going to be eight dedicated turns of hitting. So we're not worried about that. And I dropped in a couple of improved jump jets on this guy to give it a bit of mobility. Um, but other than that, this mech pretty much remained the same. It's still relatively uh, heat neutral, which is great, which will allow us, give us a bit of maneuverability. And uh, so this is all direct fire, so this guy will be like right into combat. Good armor on it. Uh, the armor is pretty much maxed out. Not 100%, but pretty close. So that's this guy. So he's gone from the indirect fire to direct fire. Now the archer is going to stay at indirect. Uh, I thought about switching these two around because the archer has more uh, armor. But um, as you'll see here, I didn't really have all the components I wanted to build this guy the way I wanted to. Now the case 2 came already installed on this guy, which was great. We didn't have to touch anything about it. But this guy's going to be pretty much dedicated as an indirect fire platform. Our heat efficiency is garbage. Um, if we don't fire the two medium lasers, we're still uh, overheat. Uh, just slightly, but we're still overheat. Um, so we've got the two clan LRM-15s in here. The LRM-50 Zeus that we picked up. Well, we didn't pick it up. Actually, this was a, uh, a Hellion build. She re, uh, retooled a regular LRM-15 to be a, a Zeus, which is great because it's like six damage rather than four. Uh, although it does have a, a chance to jam, but I'm fine with that. And the same thing with the LRM-5 Zeus that we had. We put, the, put this in here. So this is now an LRM-50 boat. Uh, we do have the Artemis ammo in here um, with the Artemis 4 because this guy's primarily supposed to be an indirect platform, so 50, 50 missiles of indirect uh, fire. The two medium lasers are just for close-in support if we need them, like if these Zeus's jam and we need to fire them. We've got them on here just in case. It does have a Guardian ECM in it. The sensors tracker, which is great because we're going to get uh, plus four to it at extreme ranges, plus two at long ranges, which, which is perfect. Um, and the LRM ammo is giving us a bonus uh, to direct fire and uh, uh, indirect fire and stuff. And I also had drop, dropped a couple of jump jets in it to give it a bit of maneuverability. Uh, this mech will probably be in the second land, so it might end up standing on a building. So at least this way we can jump it off if we have to. Uh, most likely I'll put the um, the Archer and Apollo probably in the same, like in the second land. So I'm not 100% sure how I'm planning on doing that yet. But we'll have to figure that out. But yeah, we've got some uh, dead fire in here and swarm ammo as well. We could have used it in the last mission we were in. So I thought... Um, We'll throw some swarm in if we get a chance to use it. Great. Uh, we've got about nine turns of uh, Artemis 4 firing. We got just a little under five turns of dead fire and a couple of turns of swarm. So we got plenty of rounds of ammunition here, which we'll be should be fine with. And if for whatever reason we're on a long mission, and we run out. 
we got the medium lasers we can fall back to, so at least we'll be able to fire at stuff. And then it's got a slick suite as well, which gives us a bonus initiative for everybody. So that's kind of a that's kind of a benefit. And that's it. That's what we did. So let's have a look at our pilots now before we go on a mission here. I already know what mission we're going to take, but uh, let's have a look at the pilots. So let's start off with Dallas here. We can go. Guts gives us overheat threshold. We're not really worried about overheating, so I think we're going to save this. I think we're going to go straight to gunnery. Go for Warlord. Now, Duck, I want to go with... Uh, this guy's going to end up being a scout, another scout. Uh, we definitely want to go this route. Um, question is, is do we go fire maneuver or... The benefit of firing maneuvering is that I can stay hidden more often as a scout. I think we're going to go that route. Yeah, let's go that route. Uh, Goofy, uh, we're going to go with gunnery. Let's confirm that. Mech warrior training complete. Gundal, uh, we're going to hold off, I think. Minus 5 heat generation. You know, we're going to give him the archer. And we'll take the minus 5 heat generation, which will help out. Training complete. Okay, uh, Helium we'll come back to you in a second. Infiltrator. Um, overheat threshold. Right now, this really doesn't matter with him. I think we'll save it for gunnery. Yeah, I think we'll go that route. Now, Hellion, um, so we, when we raised Guts last up last time, we had to raise it up two to be able to get one out of it. So I'm thinking we're going to go this way with tactics to see if it'll stick at, f at five. Most likely, it'll go back down to four. Um, Yeah, let's go this route. Let's just see what happens. Training confirmed, Commander. We'll see what happens. Her initiative is really low right now. That's why I want to get it up a little higher. Okay. Now, let's have a look at our command center. Now, I did sell a bunch of stuff. So we, we do have enough funds now for the next uh, um, financial report, as long as we don't get wrecked here. And we're going to take the bait today. Uh, it's a Jade Falcon mission in the jungle. Um, Spring in the trap against the heavy mech. I was thinking about trying to do this, a favor to regret, which is going against the high tonnage uh, lance in the Badlands. But I figured we tried this one out first. Two skull, um, just to see how well we're doing with the setup that we have. And then, you know, if this goes quickly, we can take this one. Uh, if not, we'll save this mission till next time, if I'm feeling comfortable. But let's go this route. And we're going to go full salvage, obviously. Okay, now we got to figure out what we're doing here with everybody. So I want to bring uh, Gundal to the Archer. Now the Apollo is really a close-in guy. We want to just throw a Duck there for now. Or do we want to put him in a mech that's going to give him an advantage? Like if we go this road, Goopy's got good good gunnery skill already. So we probably have a better chance to hit with the Apollo, and the pulses and streaks on this are already going to give a relatively good advantage. Yeah, I think this is probably going to show us what we can do with what we have. Most likely Goofy will end up going back to the Hellspawn, uh, but for now we're going to go this route, I think. We'll see how it goes. Let's deploy and get this done. All right, six on the ground. All right, first time with six of us. Nice. Now, do we have any other... We do have a couple of other supporters here, it looks like. A thorn. Self-propelled artillery. Yeah, why does that... <sighs> terrify me. We got one lance down here. All right, so they're up over here. We know this map. This is not a bad map to be fighting on. All right, let's get up to position hip here. It's funny, I almost don't want to be going first. I almost want to let them go first. Uh, you are the scout, so let's get you up a little closer. I thought about throwing a UAV in here and taking a little bit of armor off, but I avoided that. I want to keep the armor on this 45-tonner. 
The other thing too is we can um, we can uh, use the fire starter as a, as a another scout mech as well, forty five tonner. The Rack 5 Centurion I don't want to touch. I think it's running really, really well. Like, we might pull the Streak 4 out of it. I don't know. Okay. Direct Fire Apollo. Let's get in the trees. Let's make sure I turn these off. It's not overheat. Archer's not perfect, but it's got room. Like, we can put an XL engine in it and stuff. Yeah, you guys just stand back there. Let me do the, let me do the work up here. I got a support lance. Let's hope they got reinforcements, too. Want to get some good salvage out of this. Let's get up here. If we can get some contacts, we do. What are we looking at here? Okay, uh, Hetzer. Centurion. Wolverine, okay. Let's fire at this guy. Okay, ammo. Let's just light everything on fire in front of us. Nope, oh, we missed, okay. Now the question is... Yeah, let's play it this way. Double time. Let's go. It's nice having the extra range on the streaks because it brings it into a uh, closer uh, range bracket for firing. Confirm. Beautiful, look at this thing go. Beautiful. One more for the trash heap. Still going, still going. What's the plan? Beautiful. I want you to put some streaks on our uh, MRMs on this guy over here. Let's get in close. Okay, we got a chopper back here too. Twenty ton warrior. We can't target him though, unfortunately. Yeah, look at the look at the chance to hit in this guy. That's pretty darn good. We're gonna use the barrage as well. See ya. Looks like this might go quickly and we can get another mission done here. Let's just get you up into play. It's weird, it's just like, you never really know. Yeah, see this guy's got full sprint and he's like barely even moving here. Alright, let's see what you can get on this guy back there. That chopper disappeared, I wonder if it... Uh, got killed in this in the blast 12% okay not bad that's not bad compared to point nine that we were getting before like we're not really doing any damage but oh a bit a bit more damage there but that's fine at least we're hitting now that's the thing with the learn 52 it's like beautiful Now, if I can find some chaff, like half ton of chaff ammo and a half ton of, uh, yeah. um, what was the other, there's another, uh, I can't remember the name of it, though. Let's get in the open to do this. A little better chance to hit. There's another, there's chaff, and then there's, which impairs sensors, and then there's another one that actually targets it. I can't remember the name of it now. Ech. We can get some of those, a half ton of each of those for the Archer, that'd be nice. Because then I can de de dedicate the LRM-5 to it. So we're pretty much in a position now where we're going to start taking missions against the clans, I think. At around, like, one and a half, two skulls, maybe three, like, two and a half skulls. Let's not go to three just yet, that uh, three skull mission I'm still, <laughs> still smarting over. That was a terrible one for me. Okay, we know they got a chopper back here somewhere. This guy, there's probably another mech maybe somewhere. 
They could have a like the second one could have been a full lance back here. So I don't know. Support lance is almost gone. This is the well. Where's the enemy unit? Up at the top here, maybe. Enemy units. So I guess the helicopter did get destroyed in the blast. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. Nice. Vindicator, eh? I haven't seen one of those in a long time. As long as we don't get killed by friendly fire from that support vehicle, I'll be a little happier. Come on. Bring it! Yeah, having so many uh, slick sweets and stuff, giving us this bonus initiative, is kind of nice in a way. But in a way, right out the start, it's kind of not. I mean, I guess we could just always maneuver into a position where we're hidden on the first turn. Yeah, see that kind of thing where I don't see an explosion always gets me worried. Urban mech. LRM mech. The LRM version. I can't even think of a stupid nickname for it now. Alright, let's get up here. I'm gonna angle this way because I don't know if that mech that we're looking for is up here. There was a heavy, was supposedly a heavy mech somewhere. Uh, Wolverine, I think. Well, maybe not. It's far against the turd bee. Um. I think we need to find out if there's more guys up here somewhere. So let's get into here. Going full throttle. Okay, we don't see anybody here. We had guys there for a second, but they disappeared. All right. Uh, oof. Let's fire on him. Maybe we connect with the leg. That'd be nice. Looks like we may have. Yep, there it goes. Scored a critical hit. Sit down. Or lie down, whatever. Works too. Alright, you know what your job is. You know what your job is. Let's get up in here. Let's leave this off. What else? Well, we had a blip and then it disappeared. Oh, something up here. That must be the mech we're looking for. That is not the mech you're looking for. Bucket, let's do it. It is not. A couple of points. What are you worried about? You took it worse than the last battle. Oh, you weren't even there the last battle. Never mind. Moving lightning fast. Lightning McQueen. Oof. Really? Wow, this guy's like shredded. Let's see what we can do. Yes. Whoops. That's a kill. So I guess that wolf maybe the Wolverine is the super heavy they were talking about? I don't see it. Maybe. I don't know. Let's leave the rack at three. Well, four. Frigate, go to six. That's water. Let's stand in the water. Oh shoot, we were we were shooting swarm before. Should have checked that. All right, firing these. 
Alright, it's a few hits. Not bad. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. At least I'm not clumping up as much as I used to. Learning to spread us up, spread us apart a bit. Come on, guys. Hopefully soon enough they'll stop dropping lances with us. I think it just depends on difficulty and how many enemies there are. Okay, he's taking heat from standing in the fire. The griffin is unstable, I'm assuming, because they probably shot him in the back. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that. Good, at least the artillery's not firing. Now we have no idea what kind of Wolverine this is either. Is that a Warhammer? Oh, Vindicator. Hunchback, okay. I am going to move into the trees because there's a hunchback up there. No idea what kind of hunchback that is. 4 SP. Now is that the one with the SRM6s in the shoulder? Got a Chapa. Balak. What is this guy? Donar? Alright, well. We know our target. Here it comes. This Mac, I'm telling you. Yes, Commander. All right, Duck, Duck, Goose. Hammer him. Roger. That's some good damage. Stealth destroyed. Target's taken a critical hit. Let's get up here. Yeah, let's engage this guy, but not from there. Let's engage him from up here, if you can. Down, moving out. I think we'll be protected by the hills from that hunchback if he comes around. Ech. As you wish. Oh, that's terrible. Yes, Commander. That was a total streak miss. Alright, firing on this guy from the side. One hit, two, three hits. Rotary AC5, crit. Oh, he's got a rack. Let's get back here. We better trash this guy then. Yeah. Can't get in the trees anywhere? Ugh. Oh. I think we want a side shot on him, but that keeps everything within range. Let's get into here. I got it. Don't think. Don't shoot. Just run. If you do that, you die. Think, shoot, and run. You know the you know the rules. All right, firing. Beautiful. Oh, we destroyed the double. He had a double plus heat bank. Well, we had to get rid of him. If he used that rack on us, it could have been bad. Could have been bad. Guns off the field, baby. Guns off the field. Uh, let's just spin it up over this way. Okay, we got a jam on the Zeus. That's fine. 10%. Eighteen percent of the Vindicator, twenty-six on this chopper. Let's go after this guy. Yeah, we don't need the support lance. You guys just stay back there. Gonna end up getting me killed. So 
So they probably lost sensor contact with us. Because he's got an LRM5 and he's not using it. So he's probably lost sensor contact. Hunchback. I wonder, we should probably wheel and go up the hill, kill the Hunchback, and then fire down on the other mechs. Hunchback's got terrible back armor. I wonder if we can sneak a back attack on him. Like, I think the 4SP's got a pair of SRM6s in the shoulder, the left shoulder, and medium lasers in the right, I think. Probably wrong. But I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Let's just burn through the side. Let's just go ahead and do that. We're going to take the hill, burn through this guy's side, then kill the guys down below. Alright, let's do it. Dude's got full armor too. Man, I got... We got to do something about this guy's lousy hits. Wait, what? We trapped down below? Well, really bad chances from here. Uh, do we take it and then just sit here, or? Nope, let's maneuver around. We gotta get up the hill anyway, so let's just take the turn to maneuver. You can get up here. Yeah, it might be worth just putting a couple of jump jets in all my mechs. Firing all weapons. Yeah. Is done. I wonder... 26, that's not bad. 8, 14, 23. Let's go this route. It's direct fire, so it's better. Let's just use it. Don't hit me, though. Beautiful. Strip that armor. Don't hit me. Whatever you do, don't hit me. Right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, your rack is jammed. Uh, let's just move down here for a support roll for the uh, missile mech. Rack on jam, beautiful. Well, we did fire at like rotary six two times in a row, so kind of expected that to jam. But I think four shots is actually working pretty good. Three or four are all like well, four all the time. I think is working pretty good. Okay, the choppers are probably going to move at this point, so she should probably be able to take one chopper out next turn. And if we use the missiles from the archer, we might be able to take the second chopper out. The hunchback, I don't know about pulling him down next turn. Depending on where he moves, we might be able to do it. Like, he's taking a half decent amount of damage in his side now. He's having problems with stability too, so he might not even move. Yeah, like his armor's almost gone on the side here. Yeah, he's got a pair of SRM6s medium lasers. Yeah, he's on fire too, right? So it's not like he can do too much. So it looks, looks like I'm going to have two weeks off over Christmas, which is going to be nice. And I think this series will probably end by the time I get around Christmas. Uh, like around Christmas time, because I do want to get into doing... Um, 
the other series where I was talking about where we have two different um, games running parallel that are basically this like two different dropships on the same Argo but two different games running separately so it's two units running side by side and giving them different objectives and goals on a planet gonna go that route I think um, I do need a little bit of time to lay out I think exactly how things are gonna happen and I might do uh, an opening ep like the very first episode will just be an explanation of what I'm planning on doing and how it's going to be done um, and then um, after that uh, we'll get into the full series and most likely what it'll end up being is uh, each episode will be a mission from each of the two uh, different games that are running all right let's hold off with you Dallas Receiving you. can you get up there we can't get up to see that guy. Oh, we can. Works for me. Roger. So yeah, I'm hoping that that's how it, it that's what we're going to be doing. Now, once again, it's going to really depend on um, how much time it takes to pull off each mission. But I don't be. I'm not planning on. Actually, let's just reserve you. I'm not planning on um, getting into having multiple lances for each um, group um, early on. So things should go relatively smoothly, I think. Let's hammer this guy. Nice. Can you get in to do that? So yeah, things should go relatively quickly. We're going to have one lance. Hopefully we don't have any supporting lances coming down with us. That'll be okay later later on in the game. For what I'm thinking of. Is he going down? He is. Beautiful. Um, but like once, once again, like I said, we're going to do... I'll do a, an episode where it just kind of explains what we're doing. Just so you guys have an idea of how the how the uh, the campaign is going to run, and it really it will be a campaign. It just it'll be less of like the idea of us taking just missions to make sea bills, and more of a goals oriented thing, where both of the lances are working towards a, a similar goal, just pulling off different missions. But you know that kind of thing. Nice. Okay, we can't take them both. Looks like get into here <coughs> we'll take the flames on the way that's fine gonna target this guy direct fire overheat huh yeah let's leave the Zeus's on because they do more damage um, is it easier with dead fire no it's not all right let's leave the Artemis on Not enough, huh? Not enough. Well, I was hoping to move you in after the hunchback move, but he hasn't moved, so let's get up into here. Don't want to wait anymore. Lose initiative for next round. But like I said, I want to do like, like, hopefully we'll spend a bit of time on on individual planets. Um. And I want to do a map for the planet so we have an idea of what it is we're trying to accomplish and where we're going with the missions. So most likely when we jump from one planet to another um, for the storyline, I'll figure out what each lance has got um, mission-wise that they can pull off while we're there. Um, and then we'll bu I'll build a story based on that, build a kind of a build a map based on that, and then we'll just do the missions and see how well we do. So, for instance, like if we're planning on raiding a uh, um, Star League era facility or something like that, we'll save that one to last. But we have to kind of break through the enemy defenses first in order to be able to get there. But like, like, like I said, once again, it's really going to depend on the missions that are on each planet. Also, it's going to be tough, too, because trying to balance both individual games separately 
I mean, we can't share stuff back and forth between the two, obviously, but I'm going to have to try and make sure, like, C bills wise we're, like, doing okay. So if things go bad for one side over the other side, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to end up doing, but we'll figure it out. I think we should be okay. Like if we pull missions off that are just for C bills, I know. I apologize. I can't remember who it was. Someone mentioned that I should be doing that here too, just to make sure we have enough C bills. Um, but um, yeah, if, I think if we do that as well, we should be fine. Okay, um, let's take this guy's, uh, he's got a PPC in this arm, so let's take it if we can. Alright. Ooh, none of the streaks fired. Ooh. Painful. Uh, okay, where can we get to here that we can target that guy's side? We can go here. We're a little bit unstable, which has me a little bit worried. But I think we're okay. We're going to fire everything on this guy. Confirm. At least we'll overheat him. Now, what side is the most damaged? That's his right side? We hit the back? We did. Ugh. You positioned yourself really well, buddy. Wait. Right. Yeah, that's right, right? That's right, right? I got that right. Right, right. See if we can take his leg. Oh, well, looks like we got it. Yep, he's going down again. Beautiful. Oh yeah, he damaged his back from falling. That's right. These guys have only got like 20 points of armor on each of the torsos in the back anyway, so... I'm listening. Are ya? Because normally you don't. Roger that. Do we trash a chopper already? No, we haven't destroyed any, any enemy reinforcements. He just went somewhere that I can't see him. Oh, he's over here. He's over here. Let's just trash this guy if we can. Firing. Beautiful. Little overkill, but he's gone. Uh, what do you think, Dallas? Uh, not too bad. We got to do 76 to this torso or this leg. Can't really pull it off. I think we're probably okay up here. Let's see if we can kill this chopper. Let's get around where the hunchback can't see you. Well, he can see you here, but I don't think he's going to fire on you anyway. Let's get down in here. Let's fire on this guy. Ah, lousy chances to hit, but we'll take it. A little bit of a laser show. I think we got... Did we get him? No, we didn't get him. Yeah. Buster, now. Oh, he's still indirect there, eh? How do I get a direct line of sight on this guy? I gotta move down. Nah, I exposed my back once before. I'm not doing it again. Be a dumbass. I can hear people screaming out there. What are you doing? Moving to position. Yeah, I'm an idiot. That's what I'm doing. 
Oof, really? Mediums are at 14. Let's take the Zeus off. Ah, let's leave it on. Why not? Firing. Nice. Oh, I didn't expect to get that one. So we got the Hunchback and the uh, Vindicator left. Vindicator's overheating. Hunchback's lying down. I think we're okay. Infiltrator might be able to pull off a targeting shot in that leg. Maybe. I don't know. He's going to get up anyway, so... I like he can actually move any, any fair distance. Try to steal my kill, you little bastard. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Don't shoot. Thank you. Okay, let's see what this guy does. I don't know, I didn't check to see how many wounds the pilot has. Ow. You're scratching my paint! Yang's gonna make me friggin' paint this thing on my own. Alright, here it comes. Let's get our stability back. Okay, get over here. See if we can get the other side. Oh, that's good chances to hit. We're going to take him. I'm just toying with this guy now, I know, but... We get the leg? We got the leg. Oh my god, we got the leg. Enemy mech Damn, son! Alright, can you get over there to shoot this guy? Of course you can't. You're like in the worst position ever. Whole lot of ping pong and back and forth. You know what you gotta do. It's all yours. I think the streak missed. At least it felt like it. Alright, let's get st let's get stable again. <coughs> Oh. Yep. Let's wind it up. Buddy. You should have moved. Scored a critical hit. Mm. Going down. Let's finish this up, Gundal. Oh, you got you got a turn at least. Alright, uh, we're in overheat mode. We're going to take the medium lasers off, though. We'll go with the Zeus. Uh, dead fire at 64, huh? That's 9 damage, though, for these guys. Let's go this route. Beautiful. See ya. All right, 139,000. That should cover our repairs. Um, yeah, good experience. Good experience. Uh, what's this? Salvage dispute. Uh, Refuse the disputed salvage retain, you lose five rep. XL engine, engine core 200, streak 2, LRM 10, LRM dead fire ammo, quantity 2. We're going to take the Wolverine and Centurion piece. They had a Centurion?
Oh yeah, we killed it early. Uh... Let's just accept it. That's fine, whatever. Whatever. Ice holes. Alright. I'm doing this, and you know why I'm doing that. I want to check out what the, those other mechs have. Uh, LRM5 Zeus, meh. X pulses are supposed to be really pretty good. Close range though, for two tons. One strong beam, but have a refire penalty. Damage falls up to 55%. Okay, streaks. Whoa, that's a lot of clan streaks. But they're twos, they only weigh one ton. Streak MML fives. Four tons. Can use LRM or SRM ammo, but four tons, really? It's almost worth it getting a bigger one. XL engines. These are just regular XLs, right? 2.5. Artemis 4. Clan Pharaoh. Mask. Stealth, TSMs. Ugh. I mean, we could take this for C-bills. These are just too small for me at four tons. For four, like shooting, shooting what, five rounds? Like you could put an SRM4 and an LRM5 in a mech for the same weight. But these are streaks though, so they'll only fire if they hit. Heat nine. It's a nice range though, 690 meters for long range. Uh, I'm going to go this route. I know it's crazy, but I'm going to do it. All right, we've got a Vindicator part. Oh, big oh, oh, big deal. Two LRM-15s. We've got an X-Pulse. Nice. SRM-2 Streak. Just a regular one. Streak MML-5. We've got the Artemis-4. That's kind of nice. Uh, yeah. All right. 10,000 repairs. Nothing. Beautiful. Let's jump into another mission here. Actually, first of all, I don't know if we can actually get one of those... Uh, is it compatible? It's not. LRM version is compatible with what? Uh, Urban Mac race car, what? Oh, this is the one with the mask and supercharger. That's interesting. So these guys aren't really... Well, let's ready this guy, because we can get some C-bills for this for sure. It cost me 62000 Let's confirm this. And then let's go to here. Race car Irby, huh? Pirate engine. We got the core anyway. That'll at least pay to get this thing going. Heavy machine gun array. Cultivator. Mask. Like what are we getting out of this? Like squat. Oh well. Well. Yeah. It's really the deputy dog in the risk version I want to see. So let's just trash this guy. 234,000 plus what we get off it. So. All right. Well, that's a little bit of coin. Let's look at getting our mechs repaired here. We'll take another mission real quick. So I think this thing should go pretty quick. Right? Fire starter, don't care about. All right. So let's go have a look really quick here. Take off your shoes. Make yourself comfortable. Favor to regret. This is the dropping of a high tonnage lance. 
vanguard of a conventional tanks and infantry so it's probably two lances in total let's just go with it let's just do this same as before uh yeah let's go of course you are you think well we haven't played on this map in quite a long time Okay, what do we got with us here? Aries medium tank, Arctic cheetah, an adder, kit fox. Okay. So we got guys most likely straight ahead, and then the reinforcements from up here. Yeah, that's usually the way this map plays out. It's a small map, so we're good. Alright, we know what to do. Oh. We got eyes up here already. Interesting. It's out of range though. That's fine. So I had a look at uh, Hellion's skills before we dropped. Uh, it looks like she did lose one of the points. So she does have four tactics, not five. So I'm not, I'm not sure what's up with that, but whatever. I'm here. I shouldn't uh, look a gift horse in the mouth. She is, um, you know, giving us the ability to, uh, ooh, really? We're not adding any heat, so we might as well take the shot. Affirmative. Um, she is giving us better gunnery, so it is what it is. I'm fine with it. Uh, let's get you this way. What's this? Another mech? Oh, uh, powered multi-terrain vehicle. Okay. Yeah. We know how this has to play out. Yes, Commander. No, sprint, please. And thank you. Certainly. Excellent. Yeah, so she's got four tactics now, which is fine. I mean, we'll leave it there. We're going to be working on piloting and gunnery from now on anyway, so. So hopefully this plays out quick. I apologize if this ends up being another long episode. I didn't, I wasn't sure how long that last uh, mission took. I should really put a clock in front of me. But I generally don't have timepieces or clocks around me because I'm usually in front of a computer all the time, so I usually look at the time on a computer. But, um, you know, and I don't like knowing what time it is most of the time, unless I have sp something specific to do. Like, even at work, I don't even like to know what time it is. I just want to go until I, until I, until people start leaving this, like, oh, is it time to go already? I want to make sure that guy gets smoked early. Brigand? What? Yeah, see? That's what you get for shooting. 25 ton, okay. How heavy do we want to push these guys? We want to just It's supposed to be a high tonnage lance, so that's what's got me worried. I just don't know what that means. High tonnage for two skulls is what? Let's not go too far. Oh shit, of course. Commando, a brigand, Imuit, Icarus 2, 1 CR. Large, small, close range. Pulses and magnas. That guy maybe should go fast. 6 and 4, medium laser, and I don't know. So let's target this guy. Let's go with everything. And we missed with the uh we hit with the arrow. No, we didn't. Or did we? I don't know. The arrow some oh it looks like the arrow did hit. Sometimes it's hard to tell. I 
Let's just punish these guys straight up. You're the guy we're shooting for first. Yeah, we're doing it. We're just going to go for it. Let's just go for it. Screw these guys. Firing. Well, oh, no streaks. Reporting. Let's put the fire down on this guy, please. You got a barrage too, right? Let's use it. See ya. Let's end this quick if we can. I'm telling it. Yes, I, am. I think probably, well, what's this? Fire truck. He's too far away, I think, right now to be any threat. But we will take the best chance to hit 29, eh? We can 29 here too, we can fire more. So let's go against this guy. Hey, mm -hmm. Couple of hits, beautiful. Five bucks, man. You got five bucks, I'm all yours. Um, let's switch to uh, standard Artemis rounds and fire. Oh, see you later, buddy. You got that right. Yeah, these guys are like, well, yeah, we don't need to go anywhere. They got it. Imowit's got what? 40, 45 tons? He's like, I'm gonna GTFO, man. He's just gonna GTFO. I noticed the AI now is like shooting a lot less standing a lot more running a lot more like running away a lot more than they ever used to used to they used to stand and fight but i can understand why they wouldn't with all with <laughs> once you see this showing up it's like oh, okay this is probably not a good idea we lost two mechs already within the first few seconds of engagement it's probably better if we just get the hell out of here which is why i think they should probably have an escape zone for the uh yeah screw you escape zone for the defenders or for anybody like if you want to retreat you got to retreat off the map not just a drop zone but you got to have like or maybe it is a drop zone back here that you got to retreat back to to be able to get away that would kind of be cool yeah, like they they have a drop zone that they, or a, an area that they can retreat off the map, and you've got an area that you have to retreat back to to be able to be extracted. And that happens on every map. So if you want to leave, you better damn well stay close to your escape point. All right. Uh, this guy didn't move. Let's serve him up a whole bunch of hate. Eh. Awaiting orders. Waiting for orders. Let's get into here. Get some stability back. Gonna target this guy again. See if we can clear our flank here. Okay, at least the streaks are hitting. Well, all right. Never mind. like they're not even putting up a fight. I understand. Okay, that Imowitz is still hiding back there. Let's kill this rocket techie. He's still got those two big rocket packs. We gotta kill this guy. Let's leave the uh, let's leave the mediums off. Yeah. Screw it, just go for it. Commander. 
All right, Hellion. We got a rocket techie we need you to take care of. Even though it's still hiding over there. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Gonna go with Warlord 2, because why not? Yeah, we're gonna fire. Beautiful. Don't have to worry about him now. Oops, I made a mess. You certainly did, but that's alright. We'll clean up after you. Yes, Commander. See if we can get eyes on the Imowit. Right. There he is. Mm, better chance to hit. Let's take it on this guy. Wow. One hit. Well, same amount of hits as they got. I don't feel so bad now. Oh, really? Wow, we're really going to overheat, eh? Wow, we even got a better chance against this guy. Let's go in the fire truck. You know what? Um, let's just get our heat back. What the hell does that carrier have? I couldn't help you that much. Don't shoot on that guy, you can't hit him. See what he does this turn. If he continues this way, we may be able to get a back strike on him, finish him off. I'm interested to see what we're going to get for salvage for this, though. Doesn't look like there's a lot here. Maybe we may, hopefully those Magna lasers survive. We might take those. We got very little clan gear, so we're going to have to be uh, starting to taking some missions against different clans now. At least with Jade Falcon and Wolf, we can kind of trade back and forth. Okay, here we go. Guy didn't move, he just decided to let himself die. Disappointing, but whatever. Disappointing, but we'll take it. Um, do I want to overheat? No. You know your job, buddy. Just do it. Got the angle. Take the shot. That hit something good. Still alive. Receiving you. Let's get this truck. Let's see if we can pull him out of the battle. See ya. One for the scrappy. Commander. Order acknowledged. You know what to do. Um Let's go this route. Copy that, Commander. Oh. Rocket Techie's gone. There's a chance to hit on this guy. 
No idea. Roger that. Looks like that Immowit's going to have the best salvage. I don't want to wreck it completely. Um, sure. This is everything I got. We get it? No? I think I oh, we did. Beautiful. So they got one more something or other back there. Something I can do. Yeah, you think you can make this guy bail out? Oop, minefield in the way. Thirteen points damage. Figures. Well, he's stressed. Not that it matters. Panicked. Huh. I don't know how we're going to save the most salvage for the, this guy. I guess if we hit him on the right side, right? Yeah, the right side. And get his CT, we'll save whatever's on the left, I imagine. I thought this was going to be a tougher. It's supposed to be like two skull heavy lance, but I guess there's a variance in uh, skulls bent depending on the mission. Alright. Uh, yeah. Wow, just enough. Enemy mech destroyed. Yes, Commander. Can you find me that bad guy up here? Let's move. Oh. There he is. A vedette. Waiting for order. On the move. You can see this guy. Oh, extreme range, beautiful. We're gonna take the overheat. Oh yeah. There it is, folks. Yeah, you're good for one turn. Mission successful. Okay, contract increased by twenty percent, which is nice. I'm not really sure if we took any damage at all, but we did with just a tiny bit. Oh, they're going to dispute it again, eh? Two engine cores. Weapons computer, SRM ammo. Yeah, we'll accept it. That's fine. Screw you. <sighs> Chaff countermeasures. ER flamer, really? Fuel tank. Suicide bomb. What the hell? Really? Oh, medium ER pulses. Put both those in there. Medium pulse raker. Damage 33. Plus one act two tons. What the hell? Uh, I don't understand what the difference of between our, like this is twelve times three. Okay, interesting. Ultra five. Uh, endo, they, yeah, I was hoping they would put these separately, but they didn't. 
Oh, oh, yes, please. I don't care if it's inner sphere. It's three tons, but still, that'll help us have a good energy build somewhere. We've already got some of these guys, one of them anyway. Tracker sensors. Okay. Patchworks are always nice. Two fifty cores though. We've got one already. Don't need it. Uh two mortars. We take this thing. Worst case scenario, I mean it's worth a lot. We can just sell it. I think that's what we go with. Let's see what we get here. Okay, we got the Icarus part, Magna laser, regular medium, Ultra 5, some stuff to sell, Patrick materials, beautiful. Yeah, no cores, but that's fine. All right. Yeah, we took nothing. Beautiful. All right, so a couple of good runs today. Got some good stuff, made some sea bills, which is awesome. Uh, we'll be back in five days for another mission. Beautiful. Uh, let's have a look really quick here. Um, I want to have a look at Heli in here. Oh, we can't really do it anyway. But yeah, we had to raise it up too. I don't know what... Wait a minute, why is it so... It's very weird. That work order you submitted is complete. All right, let's have a look here. I'm confused as to why it's doing that. I'm listening. She's at four for both. I don't know if I do this, if I'm going to be wasting the points. Let's just save it for gunnery 10. It's so bizarre, but since we're here, let's have a look at our pilot, see if we can raise anything up here. So we're saving for gunnery on her. Uh, let's raise your gunnery up a little bit. Increase your range slightly. Confirm that. Uh, Goofy, we're waiting for gunnery on. Uh, Gundal, you're fine. And Infiltrator, we're waiting for gunnery, so let's go with that. And... Yes. Beautiful. All right. So we're going to end the episode there, guys. We did pick up a bunch of stuff, which is great. Um, we're gonna Next episode, we'll pull off another mission. Um, and we'll see if there's something. Uh, we'll have a, I'll have a look between episodes. But see if there's something a little tougher, like two and a half skulls. This is another drop interception. Oh, it's Jade Falcon against Jade Falcon. So it might we might not be able to do it two and a half. We may, we may take this just to see how it goes. Um most likely it'll be a longer mission, so we might only do one, one mission next episode. All right, so I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And if, if you uh, have any comments, drop them in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you all later.